Elon Musk has confidently stated that Optimus's arm will feature a special capability to assist humans in all situations with the mobility and flexibility of 22 degrees of freedom. This allows Tesla Optimus to replicate up to 85% of human hand movements. What gives this tech billionaire such confidence? The answer lies in the secret tech behind the advancements of Tesla's humanoid robot arm, which the company is quietly developing. This innovation not only aims to push Tesla's valuation to $25 trillion, but also has the potential to captivate tech enthusiasts and individuals who need robotic assistance. So, what is the technology driving the remarkable development of Optimus's arm? Let's find out the latest updates now. And welcome to our channel. How Tesla Improved the Design of the Humanoid Robot Arm The latest demonstrations of Optimus show that Elon Musk is not merely aiming for a conventional robot. His vision extends beyond typical applications, pushing the boundaries of what robots can achieve in the future across all kinds of tasks. Notably, the tennis ball catching demonstration using Optimus's newly designed arm highlights Tesla's complete redesign of the arm. Based on what we've seen, it appears to utilize high-quality silicone materials, enhancing grip when holding or quickly catching incoming objects. Remarkably, there seems to be no noticeable delay compared to competing robots on the market. One of the most significant evolutionary advantages for human intelligence was the development of an opposable thumb, enabling humans to become skilled toolmakers. It seems that this is what Elon Musk envisions for the Optimus robot to become a humanoid, capable of crafting tools and replicating human abilities. The goal is to assist humans in building more and accelerating the creation of such tools. This is why Tesla is heavily focused on perfecting Optimus hands, as they are the most complex part of the robot to get right. These hands will be critical for most of Optimus interactions. The video showed Optimus catching a tennis ball twice in a row, proving it wasn't just luck. It's worth noting that the new generation robotic hand features 22 degrees of freedom, including three in the wrist and forearm. By comparison, the human hand has 27 degrees of freedom, four for each finger, five for the thumb, and six for the wrist. The superiority of Optimus lies not only in its arm, but also in the groundbreaking aftermarket technology behind it. The collaboration between Tesla Optimus and Neuralink is edging closer to fruition. Neuralink's feasibility trials are expanding to include experiments on controlling the robot arm using the N1 implant. This marks an extremely significant step in the development of robotic hands, which has now been recognized. Following this, Elon Musk plans to move toward mass production of Tesla Optimus by 2025, potentially reducing the price of the humanoid robot to under $20,000. What do you think about this change in arm design? What does it mean for Optimus and humanity as a whole? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and support us by giving a thumbs up and subscribing so we can reach 400 subscribers before 2025. Tesla will have genuinely useful humanoid robots in low production for Tesla internal use next year and hopefully high production for other companies in 2026. Elon Musk commented on a post on X. So how will Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 work from 2025? There will be a lot of real-life Iron Man around us, it's so exciting. We are extremely excited to get to shake hands with this version of Optimus Gen 3 from Tesla, because the information predicts that Gen 3 will have incredibly detailed hands, 90% perfection compared to human hands, and many new features. Maybe when our kids grow up, we can have an Optimus Gen 3 to keep me company when we get old. Just kidding. But how has Tesla innovated Optimus? Let's find out. How does Optimus Gen 3 work in the Giga Texas factory? Elon Musk is betting on Tesla to have more than 1,000 robots working in its factories by 2025. Musk believes that implementing this plan will help improve productivity, save on labor costs, and increase accuracy in operations at Tesla's Giga factories. The company is still training the Tesla bots using virtual reality and remote control. They will perform useful tasks in a lab environment, but with human control, like a puppet. 
In a recent Tesla video, Optimus can perform complex tasks such as making deliveries in the office, carrying things, and even assembling another Optimus. Tesla pays $48 an hour to employees who wear motion capture suits to help train the Optimus humanoid. According to Tesla's job description from Careers, these employees will be required to wear motion capture suits and virtual reality goggles for more than seven hours a day. They will walk along predetermined routes, performing detailed tasks assigned to collect data for robot training. They will also be required to analyze the collected information, write daily reports, and perform a number of small tasks related to equipment and software. Optimus is currently being tested at one of Tesla's factories, with the rate of human intervention continuously decreasing, which is considered to be Tesla's robotics technology is developing day by day. Currently, Optimus is taking on the job of assembling manufacturing parts or cutting metal that requires high precision and transporting goods in the factory. In addition, they are used for quality assurance by using sensors and images to check for product defects. Optimus mainly works in jobs that require meticulousness or can be dangerous to humans, helping to improve production quality and factory efficiency. However, it is impossible to ignore the impact of robots on wages or employment opportunities for factory workers. If an employee is earning $25 an hour for manual work, when replaced by a robot, their wages may drop to a lower level, even $10 an hour lower if they have to move to less skilled work. The number of employees in the production stage will also decrease by 70% because one robot can replace five to seven people working in one production stage. On the other hand, the number of technical staff or robot managers will increase to control incidents or fix basic errors in the work process. It can be seen that the use of robots will create a major shift in the labor structure, from manual labor to technical labor. Musk emphasized that humanoid robots will be more valuable than Tesla's car business and fully autonomous systems. The company plans to launch the robot for less than $20,000, much cheaper than its cars, making it attractive not only to businesses, but also to households. What new upgrades are there in Optimus's limb movements? CEO Elon Musk recently said that Optimus's hands will be upgraded to 22 degrees of freedom. This is very close to the human hand, which has 27 degrees of freedom. This upgrade allows the robot hand to perform more sophisticated movements, similar to the movements of a human hand. This is really important for tasks that require high precision, such as assembling small parts or handling sensitive objects. Compare that to the Honda Azimo hand, which has a three-finger hand without tactile sensors. The ability to manipulate objects is even more limited than the Gen 2 Optimus with 11 degrees of freedom. Elon Musk predicts that it will be able to thread a needle by the end of this year, although Optimus has previously been able to learn music and play music on the piano. This is exciting because threading a needle by hand is an incredibly complex task, opening up the possibility of many other sophisticated tasks in different environments. Elon demonstrates the sophistication of this update to Optimus in performing delicate and synchronized movements, moving closer to the goal. In addition to significant improvements in hand design, Optimus Gen 3 also features a comprehensive upgrade to the feet, aimed at improving mobility and balance. Gen 3 has a redesigned foot and ankle mechanism, making it easier to climb stairs and move on uneven surfaces. Furthermore, the torque sensor in Gen 3, which takes into account the human foot shape, including the arch and articulated toe sections, supports improved walking ability. Tesla also claims a weight reduction of 22 pounds compared to Gen 2, contributing to improved balance and overall body control. Tesla's head of Optimus Engineering, Milan Kovac, posted back on X. We've improved our vestibular system, our foot trajectory, and our ground contact logic. We've upgraded our motion planner and made cuts to the loop latency across the bot. Optimus is more stable and more confident overall, even during turns. We also added a slight torso and arm sway. 
it's clear that Tesla's engineering team is 100% dedicated to improving the performance and efficiency of Optimus this time around. What makes the Optimus Gen 3 design different? This time, Optimus's design is something special, not sure how special, but it seems very groundbreaking. Optimus Gen 3 is about 5 feet 8 inches to 6 feet tall and weighs about 132 to 143 pounds to match the standard size of humans, helping the robot work effectively in industrial and home environments. Tesla uses light and durable materials such as carbon fiber or polycarbonate instead of traditional metal. This helps reduce weight and increase aesthetics. The Tesla Gen 2 robot generation has a significantly improved design with an 80% completion rate. No longer exposed metal frames and tangled wires, creating a more complete frame shape compared to the Boston Dynamics Atlas, which has a design with exposed metal frames, clear cables and sensors. This makes the Optimus Gen 3 a more attractive option in applications requiring advanced technology and aesthetics. Optimus Gen 3 also features a high-resolution camera with 360-degree scanning capabilities, up from just four cameras in the previous generation to eight, sensors with an increased range of 50 meters, and an ultrasonic sensor that can detect obstacles at a distance of three meters, improving detection and navigation capabilities. The environment recognition software uses the latest deep learning algorithms with image analysis speeds of up to 60 frames per second, allowing the robot to understand and respond to its surroundings faster and more accurately. The combination of these technologies not only enhances the robot's perception and navigation capabilities, but also contributes to optimizing the production process while minimizing risks and improving operational efficiency in complex production environments. All of the improvements to the Optimus Gen 3 robot's legs have resulted in an increase in walking speed and movement at 2 to 3 miles per hour close to the average human walking speed of 6 miles per hour, which means that Optimus Gen 3 has improved its walking speed by 60%, making it faster and more efficient in its tasks. How the Optimus Gen 3 is powered by AI upgrades and advanced battery technology. The Optimus Gen 3 is set to include a major hardware update that will enhance its utility equipped with a new AI processor capable of performing 2 million calculations per second, twice as fast as the previous generation. The AI system uses a neural network model with 30 million parameters, allowing for more accurate recognition and decision-making. The new processor has a frequency of up to 2.12 GB per Hertz in 16 GB of RAM. Data access is 40% faster and response time is reduced to 50 milliseconds compared to 100 milliseconds in the previous generation. In addition, the Gen 2 lithium-ion battery has a capacity of 5,000 milliamps per hour, an increase of 25% compared to the previous generation of 4,000 milliamps per hour, allowing for continuous operation of up to 8 hours. There is speculation about an upgraded battery pack in the Optimus Gen 3, possibly using Tesla's 4680 battery technology, which could significantly extend its operating time to 10 hours or more. This is coupled with a new power management system that is 20% more efficient thanks to optimized power consumption in different operating modes. Musk has hinted that the Gen 3 will double its utility with upgraded AI capabilities using Tesla's AI5 hardware which provides 700 to 800 watts of computing power, compared to 300 watts in previous versions. This upgrade promises better energy efficiency, increased functionality, and smarter interaction with its environment. The Gen 3 is expected to feature a touchscreen and AI upgrades like ChatGPT to provide the most accurate and fastest information. Tesla's competitors like Atlas or Hanson Robotics including the obvious Optimus clone, are unlikely to surpass Tesla's technology unless they are equipped with Tesla's FSD or have millions of training units available. Tesla's position as an electric vehicle manufacturer 
with over 5 million electric cars on the road and advanced AI systems, provides a solid foundation for Optimus's development. What do you think if you own an Optimus in your home? Let us know your feelings in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth reviews. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the Tesla Optimus Gen 3. Would you own one? Share your thoughts with us. We appreciate your feedback. Thanks for watching and until next time, be safe.